my goodness, this trial, uh, captivating in so many ways. What would you make of the verdict? Did the jury get it right? Well, the, I know the headline is that he won $15 million. What happened was is that the jury ruled that her retweeting of a headline in an article she didn't write, he would get $15 million. The judge instantaneously removed uh, $4 million and change of that $5 million because there's a cap of three fifty. dollars So he won $10,350,000. The jury then ruled that his lawyer defamed her and she would get $2 million. My uh, fearless prediction is, is that either the insurance companies that are footing the bill for this right. or somebody or a appellate court are going to come along and they're going to resolve this or reverse this. Because... What does this mean for Johnny Depp's career, do you think? I think that uh, un unlikely as it may seem, I think this actually helped his career. I there, obviously I... the internet went wild, was greatly supportive of him. I, I, I wouldn't have given you much shot of that when this began, but uh, ultimately I think for what he wanted, he prevailed. I mean, he had lost the UK case. This was his redo, and I think it actually was helpful for And him. what about, you know, so this weekend, and we get in the weeds, we talk a lot of politics here on Wake Up America. We talk a lot of, you know, a lot, what news yes, of the day, we, basically, yes, right? We, do. we certainly do. But so I was with family this weekend, and all my family, my sister in law in particular, wanted to talk about was this trial. Uh, why did this captivate the nation in the way it did? Well, I'm old enough to remember in the pre-Trump era, uh, you know, that there was always a summer trial of the century. I actually tried a couple of them. Yes. Uh, the, you know, the cable news and kind of the, um, the ca it captivated the popular culture. With, during Trump, you had your very own political reality show, so to speak, and that kind of fixation on the trials of the century, supersized trials, kind of abated. We're back full force, and as you say, you can't go anywhere. I mean, I, I would try to talk about the Sussman trial. I would try to talk about the the U.S. Supreme Court, the abortion uh, draft ruling. It right. didn't matter. Nobody wanted to hear any of that. All they wanted to talk about is, was Amber uh, a psychopath and was Johnny a drunk? That right. was all they cared about. Well, and Mark, I heard you on the Megyn Kelly podcast not long ago talking about defecation gate, that element to this trial. What's your take on that? What, what happened there? Look, the, um, the whole idea of airing this dirty laundry was so perfectly uh, tuned to and having its finger on the pulse of Twitter and the Twitterverse, I can't even tell you. And when you get to the point where it's defecation day, that is just, that explodes. It it appeals to every prurient eighth grade male that's hanging out on the internet. Not just eighth grade male, every morning Newsmax host and uh, and famous attorney and, uh, and in attorney, California attorney as well. Like Dirty laundry is the best that's the best way to put that, I think. That is a good that, way to put that's that. That's your producer. They, they measure your ratings by the minute. And uh, when we start talking <laughs> defamation date, right. they, they go through the they go, absolutely, absolutely. Uh Mark Garagos, let's do it again. Um, I guess we should have talked about the Sussman verdict, but this is, this is enough for now. Look forward yeah, to having you back. Fine. You call me back, we'll talk about that, because it's actually a fascinating I, I agree. I agree. Absolutely.